Good day everyone. In this video, we will be discussing business analytics fundamentals. Here are the topics to be covered in this video. Overview of business analytics, information processing concepts which is uh, which includes information processing, the IKY pyramid, tacit and explicit knowledge. Let me give you a short introduction what business analytics is. Business analytics is a powerful tool in today's marketplace. Across industries, organizations are generating vast amounts of data, which in turn has heightened the need for professionals who know how to interpret and analyze that information. There are three primary methods of business analysis. Descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive. Let us discuss them one by one. Descriptive, the interpretation of historical data to identify trends and patterns. Second, predictive, the use of statistics to forecast future outcomes. And lastly, prescriptive, the application of testing and other techniques to determine which outcome will yield the best result in a given scenario. Now, deciding which method to employ will depend on the business situation at hand. So, what are the benefits of business analytics? We have listed three benefits. First, more informed decision making. This means that when it comes to making a critical strategic decision, Business analytics can be a useful tool. Second benefit is greater revenue. This means that companies that invest in data and analytics projects will reap substantial financial benefits. And lastly, improve operational efficiency. Meaning, analytics can be used to fine-tune company processes in addition to financial benefits. So why do we have to study business analytics? Business will need a lot of research skills or business research skills. You will develop an analytical framework that can be implemented in your daily decision making and help your company succeed by learning how to identify patterns test, hypothesis, and draw conclusions from population samples. Now that you already know what business analytics is, we now go to information processing concepts. The first topic is the information processing. So, information processing refers to the manipulation of digitized information by computers and other digital electronic equipment knowing collectively as information technology or IT. Business applications, operating systems, computers, networks, and mainframes are examples of information processing systems. The term information processing refers to any time data needs to be transmitted or processed in any way. There are two types of information processing, transactional and analytical. Transactional information processing focuses on data item processing while analytical information processing focus on reporting, analysis, transformation, and decision support. We now go to the DIKY pyramid. Now, DIKW stands for data, information, knowledge and wisdom the diky uh, K, uh, dikw pyramid is shown in the illustration 
Now, the DIKW model is used for data value extraction and information management. The DIKW model, also known as the uh, DIKW pyramid, is a common method for explaining how we move from data, which is the letter D, to information, the letter I, knowledge, K, and wisdom, W, with a portion of behavior and decisions. It has its origins in knowledge management. Let us define DIKY or data, information, knowledge, and wisdom one by one. Now, data are facts, value, or common or components that are, 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 sorry, are examples of raw data. Or raw data. Data is thought of as a collection of symbols or signs that reflect stimuli or signals. Now, information means the outcome of data organization that provides context and significant data that has meaning and function is referred to as information. Next is knowledge. Now, this knowledge is valuable and actionable because it offers insights. Knowledge is a fluid blend of frame experience, principles, contextual information, expert perspective, and grounded intuition intuition that offers a structure and atmosphere for analyzing and integrating new experiences and information. Now, knowledge begins and ends in the minds of those who know. It is often embedded in organizational routines, systems, activities, and norms in addition to documents and repositories. Lastly is wisdom. The soundness of an action or decision with regards to the application of experience, information, knowledge, and good judgment. Now, wisdom adds a value which requires the mental function that we call judgment. The uh, ethical and aesthetic values that this implies are inherent to the actor and are unique and personal. Remember that wisdom is the ability to increase effectiveness. Now, the DIKW hierarchical depicts relationships, data between information uh, uh, between data and information, knowledge and wisdom. Okay, the DIKW model demonstrates how the human mind can use progressive organization to transfer raw data up to higher planes. Bits and bytes uh, gain significance and become informative to us as a result of relationships between data elements. As we move up to the hierarchy, looking for patterns and deploying principles, we impose structure and organization often by uh, classifying or categorizing the information and knowledge. We now go to tacit and explicit knowledge. Okay, keep this in mind, okay? Just like the DIKW model, the tacit and explicit knowledge are both knowledge management tools used for data value e extraction and information management. Again, just like the DK, DIKW model, the tacit and explicit knowledge are both knowledge management tools which is used for data value extraction and information management. Okay? Now, there are two types of knowledge, tacit and explicit. Probably the most important principle of knowledge management is the distinction between implicit and explicit okay, knowledge. 
Now, tacit knowledge or the knowing how, okay, through practice and work intelligence is embedded in the human mind. Insights and intuitions are examples of tacit wisdom. Now, explicit knowledge or the knowing that okay, in books, journals, notes, memos, and other forms of documentation, information is codified or codified and digitized. Knowledge that is simple to recognize, express, uh, express, communicate, and apply. This slide shows a visual representation okay, of the types of knowledge. And that concludes this topic. Thanks for watching.